they got all the uh, school stuff out now. So get your school stuff for your children. Back to school. Back to school. That's cute. That's new. And I'm also in here looking for some stencils and stuff. So really cute. So that's a good place to come on and get that. New school supplies. And there will be pictures in this video. Computer paper. And this too, coconut oil and sea salt. Oh, that's new. oh, okay. And then they have this one French lavender citrus. And you have the face paper facial mask. Okay, you guys, look. They got a caress in the dollar store. Sorry about that glare. So, <laughs> well, you guys, that's it for this walkthrough. I did see some new stuff, but I will have to come back and film next time. Thank you for watching, and there will be pictures at the end of this video. Um, please like, share, and definitely comment on this or any one of my other videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get the latest updates on what I upload on this or any one of my other channels. Bye, you guys. Hey, y'all, I'm back. It's me. Yes, it's me. Hello. You know me, but if you don't know me, I'm Ashley, and I am the owner of this channel and two other channels. <laughs> I just thought I might change it up for you guys. Um, I uh, went to Dollar Tree today, and I did do a little walkthrough. So, you know what, you guys? I'm going to add this on to this cooking video that we are going to do today. So, I'm going to sit down because I just got back out of that hot heat. Uh, not too long ago, about an hour ago. That's so, yeah. Let me, I'm sorry about the lighting. <laughs> I don't ever say that, but I'm sorry. There we go. So that's better. And um, I just finished eating a little something. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and cook some dinner here later on. And um, I got some rolls in the pan. I will show you guys that here in a minute. I got some rolls in the pan. And I will show you guys that they got a rise, so they're gonna be a minute. So we ain't gonna start cooking till later on. But I'm gonna show you guys what's on the menu later. But I'll go ahead and tell you what's on the menu. We're gonna fix up some um, potato salad. Um, I was gonna do shake and bake style. I know, I know. 
<laughs> it's good but i don't think i have any shake and bake i'll have to look in the uh, pantry but if i don't we'll just do regular potato salad and then i'm gonna season and marinate up some um, pork steaks so that will be in this and i will go ahead and do that so this will be a marinade and a cook and i will hook on a dollar tree walk through what y'all think sound good I think that's good. Anyway, sorry about the lighting. Um, um, and I think that's going to be it for the menu. Oh yeah, and we're gonna do some rice. We're gonna do some rice. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys like this video, and I'm gonna say this only one time. <laughs> if you guys like this video please give us a thumbs up and i just want to thank you guys again for tuning in to all of my channels i appreciate you guys it, it, I, I must have a knack for cleaning because you guys have been on point and i have another cleaning video that i, ha I have finished editing so i will get that up to you guys on monday <laughs> so this will hopefully be up by Monday as well. So I'm going to go ahead and try to edit this too. And I'm not going to talk long. I'm going to try to keep it right at three minutes. And that's pretty much the menu today. Um, That's about it. That's about it. So share and comment if you want to see more of this cooking videos please and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get the latest updates on what i or we in this household upload next on this or any one of our other channels we have three so this video will go up on foodie gourmet thanks for watching and i'll see you guys much later Bye, you guys. Okay, you guys, right here, we're just going to go ahead and wash and season our meat. Those are some pork steaks. Yeah, as usual, we eat a lot of pork in this house. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. But, you know, I really like the um, thin portion steaks. Yeah. So, you want to get all that gritty, ugh, off of your meat, any kind of meat. You don't want to eat that. Ugh. And I just want to quickly add to this video in the previous um, cleaning video. If you've seen that video, um, I did put in some closing remarks that I will be taking a break from YouTube and Poshmark. Um, I just need to work on myself, work on my relationship, and get myself healthy and better for things to come. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I really appreciate you guys being so supportive. And I appreciate all of the new subscribers on each one of my channels. I appreciate you guys. You're amazing. So I'm going to let you guys get back to this video. I will pop back in when we make the potato salad. Thank you for watching. you go uh, in this pot we're gonna go ahead and put these peas in here peas Look, I wouldn't let him 
Look, this in real life now. Shoot, this ain't that was the movie. Yeah. This is real life right here. One bag. All right, y'all. We gonna, I guess, put a top on this and uh, let it go. I've already cooked my meat. I've already put my meat on first, and uh, yeah, and some onions. Yeah, I guess I'll put some more in there. Should I season this? Yeah. Okay. Put your salt, your pepper in there, garlic, pepper, a couple of turns of the pot. Onion, more onion. Okay, y'all put some more onion in it. Okay. Chopped onion, good spoon, big spoonfuls. Season is me. Okay, you guys, I've uh, gone ahead and washed and seasoned my meat as you've seen in the previous clip. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put some salt, some pepper, and some Tony Saturis Creole and some Zatarain's Creole um, seasoning and some Leanne Perrine with side sauce on my meat. You do not have to use these mixtures. You can use whatever you like. You use a nice marinade in a packet. You can use whatever type of seasoning you prefer or your family likes. I just came up with this out of my spice cabinet. Or you can use whatever you have in your spice cabinet. It's fine. Uh, or whatever it's in your refrigerator. So I'm just going to be liberal and generous with these seasonings. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. We will be back after we finished seasoning all of our meat it will go into a 375 oven for about 30 minutes or until it is tender okay you guys i'm just gonna sprinkle a few sprinkles on top of my meat um you can flip it over and do the other side if you prefer but I'm just going to do one side today and then I'm going to go ahead and put a few splashes of water in the crevices of the pan between the meats on the sides right there as you see and I just want to cover my meat that's why I'm moving it around and I'm going to take my fork and move it around and make sure it's all covered not too much y'all want to drown the meat and I will be back later Okay, you guys, I just sprinkled a little bit of that Tony Saturis in these uh, peas here. Uh, I'm going to show you here coming up in a minute. And now I'm going to just point down. Yeah, there. I put a little bit of that in that pot. Yes. Um, <laughs> it makes it taste good, y'all. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my meat in the oven, as you see right there. I've got it all like I want it. And I will be back later.
Okay, you guys, here I'm just preparing some cold water for my eggs that's going to go into potato salad. So, we're going to put some eggs in that pot on the stove, like so. And we're going to put some salt on top of them so they will peel easily. So, yeah. Okay, you guys, sorry, I'm you leaving me. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fix up some uh, potato salad. I'm gonna just slice these potatoes off camera because it's gonna take too long. And I think y'all know how to slice a potato. So, and we're gonna get that done, and then we're gonna just get it on. And it's hot up in here. Alright, you guys, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I said I was not going to slice and or peel my potato on the camera, but I just, I'm doing this for the ones that probably don't know how to slice a potato or peel a potato. I need to find me a potato peeler. And um, please be careful when trying to slice your potato or sweet potato. The safe way to do it is a slice off the bottom. And so you'll have a steady surface to work with. And I will be back when I've finished peeling and slicing my potatoes. Okay, you guys, I will be back when we go to assemble that potato salad. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Okay, you guys, now on to what we're putting in the potato salad. Some yellow French's mustard. Some sweet pickle relish. Some Miracle Whip. You can use real mayonnaise if you prefer. There's the Miracle Whip. And some honey mustard just a little bit and I usually put coarse ground mustard in this but I ran out and we're gonna use some Dijon mustard here's the Dijon just a little bit of that as well okay I'm out of uh, coarse ground so we're not gonna put that in today but I usually will And over here, I got some rolls rising. They almost about ready to go in the oven. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's check on the beans. Might need to stir them. I got that oven on 375 so they cooking yeah they cooking real good you want to cook those and the eggs are almost ready look all the water then came out of these steaks and they should be tender they should be tender just like this They should break off. And be real good. Okay, now I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce on mine. Y'all don't have to put any barbecue sauce. If your family don't like barbecue sauce, that's fine. But we gonna put some on ours. We're gonna put some of this sweet honey barbecue and what I'm gonna do is just thin it out with a little uh, water. Let me get closer. With a little water and then I'm gonna pour it on there 
and put it back in the oven for a little bit and I'm gonna turn the oven down to around 350, 325. Okay, you guys, my potatoes are fork tender, so I'm just going to dump them in this colander right here. And I'm going to just put a little bit of water in that pot. I'm going to move you guys closer here and sit you down so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. And I'm just putting a little bit of water in that pot just to make sure I get all my potatoes out. And I'm going to dump them in this bowl right here. And you're going to make this a chop and drop. You're going to chop your eggs up. Make sure you peel them now and rinse them off. <laughs> and you're going to slice them up and put them in your potato salad. And I'm just going to put a little bit of black pepper and salt over my potatoes. The salt is just for flavor, you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you're going to put all your ingredients in. I'm going to put all the ingredients that I showed you in my potato salad. So here I'm just slicing my eggs and I'm going to get a better up close personal look at how I slice eggs for those of you who have may never sliced an egg before coming up.
Okay, you guys, I got my uh, potato salad just right. Make sure you taste. Okay, I'm just going to put some uh, plastic wrap over this and put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. The, um, I had to get the potato salad just right so you guys will see me do a little, few little things in this video um, trying to get it right <laughs> sorry I was trying to move you back, guys back but it is right um, and the peas are still going they're boiling I just stirred them and um, I got the oven back on because I'm going to put these rolls in the oven um, on 350 for until they're brown. I'm just going to say until they're brown. And then I've taken the meat out of the oven and they're just going to sit and collect their juices back in them. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys like this video and I will be uh posting a video i mean a picture on instagram if you follow me on instagram on my foodie gourmet slash youtube page and i will put all that try to put all that information down in the description box below otherwise just follow me on uh my hauls 1992 page yeah i know <laughs> anyway and i will um post a picture of the finished product in this video so once again if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and this will be posted on foodie gourmet i'm gonna go ahead and, and um clean up this mess and um share and comment down below if you want to see more of these videos these cooking videos and don't forget to hit that subscriber button down below and please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get the latest updates on what I upload next on this or any one of my other channels I've got three um, and um, if you are new or you're returning or you just really haven't hit that subscribe button yet I'd appreciate it if you did so down below thanks bye you guys